Hey all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratest and welcome back to So You're Being Hunted. This is episode 266 and as promised at the end of the last episode I'm joined today by Phil. Oh, yes. Did you actually promise? Yes. Um, <laughs> basically, um, as of the moment we record this, technically episode 265 hasn't actually gone out on gone the out. channel yet. But yeah, yeah I, uh, you know, I, I pre-recorded that one and um, I'd mentioned in that one that... Uh, Basically, you were hoping to join me for this episode. So, yes, yes, and here I am, Indeed. ready for another little podcasty style, I would say. The, uh, that is what we're probably going to be doing today, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. But, but yeah, I can't uh, click on that. There can't, we can't even click on that. I know, jeez. Oh, dear. 266 oh dear, oh dear. episodes in, and I still can't put I the, know. Uh, the device piece. I can't believe your episode uh, number. How, how have you managed to, to, to get this far? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you're nearly at the big 300. I know, it's incredible, isn't it? It's just ridiculous to think about that I've got this far with So You're Being Hunted, and it's still going. I know. Shows, you know, it can get your money's worth out of games like this. With it a bit certainly of does. It's a good, hmm. good little buy, and, and and it's also good because it's not just um, you don't have to just do the challenge. We well, obviously got challenges to do, but you're also uh, doing podcasty things, which is what yeah, we're mostly yeah. doing today. It's just you know nice to have a little bit of a chat about various things all the time. Exactly. Indeed. There's yes. Just... So how are you uh, doing today, Phil? Not too bad on this Friday. I've uh, done. A, I was very busy today at work, yeah. getting all my stuff done that needed to be done. Mm. I'm not doing any overtime this weekend, so that's good. Oh, you so got get to, to just yeah. chill. Yeah. Chill out um, weekend. Any plans? I've heard... Mm. No, not really, no. Yeah. I'm going to go see my parents. Oh, yeah. And they're going to... Uh, my mum is going to cook me some mussels cream pasta. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. Nice. Sounds it's, good. It's, it's properly good. Mm, it's yeah. very, very tasty. Mussels cream pasta. Oh, I could do yeah. with a bit, bit of that. It's, um, it's like mussels, and I think she's going to do some prawns as well, and a sort of creamy sauce with... Like tagliatelle pasta. Oof, sounds good. Ooh, sounds proper it's... restaurant quality. Yeah, she's a very good cook, is my mother. Mm. So I'm going over there about for about six thirty. Go and see what uh, she's doing tomorrow, and then the rest of the day I just chill out. I've heard it's supposed to be good weather tomorrow, so maybe mm. maybe I might go for a walk to Curden Valley. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Yeah, around that area, around that area, see what's going on. Uh, you got any plans for tomorrow then? Um, nothing set in stone. I'm just thinking. I don't know. You know, like you're saying about the weather. If it's you know, if it's nice, I might just get the bus into Swindon Town Centre and. Um, Oh, okay. And I just, uh, you know, just have a nice little wander around. I mean, you know, it's, I've been once before. Yeah. It's nothing special, but no, I don't know, if you just it. want, yeah, if you just want kind of, you know, morning out, just just casually kind of browse the shops and yeah. do whatever, then it's fine for that. Yeah, there's various stuff that you can look at. Because usually, there's, you know, there's a, there's a Waterstones, there's um, a H&B. Yeah. Books, books you want to read. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, you know, it's just stuff like that. Nice shops. I was, I was actually uh, surprised though, because I was in the Brunel shopping centre in the centre of um, in, uh, in the centre of the town, and I discovered that there's actually a very nerdy comic book store on the second level of the oh, shopping right. centre next to the okay. Warhammer shop. <laughs> Oh, there's a Warhammer shop. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay. yeah, basically, last time I was out, I saw this, and I decided to actually wander in just out of curiosity, because I'd never seen anything oh, like yeah. that before. Because, obviously, you know, back up you know, near Lancaster, there's no, nothing of that kind. And, uh, yeah, it's um, quite something to behold. It was uh, very interesting. Behold. Yeah, with all yeah. its, you know, comic books, you know, and all its, like, action figures and things like that, because, you, you know, proper um, nerd cave it was. It was quite fascinating. <laughs> Hmm. Are you interested in the comic books? I haven't really. I haven't really. What the the only comic books that I properly read are the Beano and the Dandy. Hmm. I've like no. I've, I've never time. been in. I've never been into things like comic books or superheroes or graphic novels or anything like that myself. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I just went in out of just general curiosity. Yeah. Yeah, but they've got all their kind of like uh, tables and things that they have set out at the back. I'm guessing for things like, um, you know, Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, like yeah. live role playing kind of stuff. LARP. That's yeah, it. LARPing. LARPing. Do you like to uh, LARP around, Phil? I've never actually <laughs> no, done I, so. No, I haven't so either. <laughs> certainly not want to, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's one but... of those things which I'm thinking if I was to do it, I'd probably want to do it with um, some kind of close friends, people yeah. who know really well. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Like I say, haven't really ever Best done it before because it's not something I've ever really kind of thought about. Mm. Yes. You know what you could do? You could, um, if you wanted to, have your lunch out in Swindon. Ah. So maybe you know, stop at a uh, yeah, you know, something like a Subway or well, yeah, something, something of, like that, or yeah. a Greg's. Yeah, there's plenty of um, eateries yeah. actually on the um, 
just going back to the uh, Brunel shopping centre, actually, they have a whole kind of food court. Because the, the way the building's actually laid out, it's two separate buildings, but there's like a overhead walkway between oh, the yeah. two upper floors. And the whole kind of overhead walkway section is basically one big food court with uh, oh, loads of see. really interesting, interesting looking um, fast food outlets. There's like a yeah. noodle bar one. Uh, bar. Yeah, there's uh, burgers, all kinds of stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah. can make use of that food court. Yeah, <laughs> yeah food courts are always useful like that. Cause you get, I think Marks and Spencers do food courts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can get all sorts of things. If you like a sandwich, you can... Yeah, well, uh, M&S, M&S, obviously, you know, they have a cafe as well, proper yeah. dedicated, yeah. So, um, Booths do stuff. as well. Oh, yeah. Booth, yeah, back up north, the Booths. <laughs> haven't yeah, been to they Booths have, they for do ages. Cafes. Mm. Yeah, I haven't yeah. been to... Uh, well, you won't get one down there. No, <laughs> It's a, it's a northern uh, thing, everybody. For anyone it is. Who it know it what is only a northern is. shop, yeah. and they are quite expensive. They are basically yeah. viewers and viewers. It's the Waitrose of the north of England. Mm. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. But having said you... that, from last I heard, the Booth family that had actually owned it had actually sold it. So, oh, have they? As far as I'm aware, whilst it may technically still be called Booths. It's not, as far as I'm aware, technically owned by that family anymore. So it might be oh. owned by someone else now. I th- yes, yeah. I think it was founded in like the 1800s or so. 1847 yeah. was when it. Well, oh, right. okay. that's where it can trace its history back to. Uh, kind yeah. of little um, little uh, grocery shop in Blackpool, run by a guy called I think it was Edwin Booth. Oh, did it start in Blackpool? I, I didn't think expect so, that. Yeah, it really, Blackpool. It's, right. Yeah, he started selling things like tea and coffee and stuff like that. Yeah, and then just branched out into general groceries, and over time, you know, bit by bit, as you know, time went by, the Booth's kind of company just evolved into what it is yeah. today. Yeah. Indeed. Good old supermarket chain. Yeah. I know this uh, for anyone wondering because I used to work in uh, in a booth supermarket back just when to, I lived yeah, up north. Just to get some money to tide you over. Indeed, yeah. Back when I was uh, just an undergraduate student, yeah, I uh, had a part-time job, like Phil says, just earning a bit of money, you know, to help uh, cover for tuition fees, things like that. It was. Yeah. Um, uh, I think wage, there is a, there is right. an epi- that there is a podcast episode of Sir where you discussed uh, your job at booths. Oh yeah. So we don't. Yeah, we don't have to go to too much yeah. detail about that. Don't be able to find it really? there because I think yeah. you went into uh, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> even you had the story of the famous woman who just sh- oh, inhaled cheesecake. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's now in, I, I can't remember which episode. Of yeah, say, being hunted. There's been to talk so many. It. Yeah, there's been so many podcast episodes I've done now that I have to sort of watch out in case I start uh, talking about things I've already <laughs> discussed before. Yeah, I think it was one with uh, oh I know one. It was the um, the one called. Uh, customer service. Customer service. That was the one. Yeah. Yeah, because you were was, talking uh, about rude customers at booths. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> that was. Um, mm. So, if you want to hear more about uh, Andrew's trips in booths and his job, have a look at that one. Customer service. I can't remember what episode it is. Yeah. Hey, if you uh, type it into uh, YouTube search bar, customer service, you know, general strategist. I think it's episode. No, it might be. I think it's two hundred and thirteen. Two hundred thirteen. Okay. Yeah. So not. I think it is. Too far back, but. Yeah. By no means a recent one, yeah. I think it is 213. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, yes. So there's that. That is uh, a bit of a throwback, that is. That is a bit of a throwback. I know, it is. Uh, I've just finished my uh, green tea, which oh. was very nice. I had some uh, pineapple and grapefruit, and it was, oh, it was it was really, green tea is really tasty. It is, isn't it? You get uh, a nice good flavour one, and it just tastes really good. Yeah, I've got quite a few interesting flavours that I do have. Yeah. I've got the uh, pineapple, uh, I'm just trying to think what I have. I've got pineapple and grapefruit, which when I taste it, I think pineapple's a very overpowering fruit because I didn't taste much of the pineapple. Mm. I tasted a lot more of the grapefruit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but grapefruit is, is quite an overpowering fruit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got a strong bitter taste. I know. You can get all kinds of uh, crazy flavoured teas these days. I did. I've got, uh, what else have I got? I've got apple and pear. Which oh, is yeah. nice. Hmm. Uh, coconut and mango. Yeah. Um, then I've got some of the more interesting flavours that I uh, have got. Uh, cherry Bakewell. I was about to actually mention that one. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking robots. Jeez. Almost don't want to get caught out by them. <laughs> they, will get blasted, they came please. to uh, hear about your Cherry Bakewell flavoured tea. <laughs> yes. Cher- now, now, I don't know what Twinings do, because they're all made by Twinings, these green tea. But all they right. make the taste exactly like the thing. Yeah. So I've got cherry bakewell. What other things I've got? I've got salted caramel. Oh, that sounds a good yeah, one. Mm. It, oh, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, chocolate coconut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is good. Um, let me 
think now. What else have we got? Uh, chocolate coconut, salted caramel. Um, oh, yes, and my favourite, which is absolutely amazing, I don't know how they get it, is lemon drizzle. Oof, lemon drizzle, that sounds like a nice one, yeah. <laughs> it tastes exactly like a lemon drizzle cake. Mm. Oh, it's oh, so good. I think it's, I think it's my favourite flavour of the green teas. Yeah. It is really good, but there's only one place you can get it, and that's Morrison's. Oh, right. I don't know why. <clears throat> Must be a unique but one to them, then. Yeah, but it's really good. I recommend that one. So if anyone's got a Morrison's nearby, if you live in the UK, of course, go and see if you can find the lemon drizzle one because it's uh, absolutely fantastic. I, I rate it a, a solid 9 eight out, out of eight. 10. <laughs> 8 out of 8. I no, rate eight. 8 out of 8. <laughs> 8 out of 8. Just had that but yes, it's, in my it's head. absolutely yeah. class. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, Those just sounds like some really good ones. I think the, it's the good only, to have green yeah. tea, then, but sometimes it's just good to have standard tea as well. Yeah, indeed, yeah. I, have that. I had that this morning, and then uh, I like coffee as well. Coffee, yes, indeed. It's funny because uh, you know you and you were never always into your hot drinks, but you know you I are used increasingly hate, now. Yeah, I used to hate tea and coffee and all that lot, but I love it now. Mm. Tea, coffee, and green tea. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It just goes to show you how your uh, taste buds evolve as you get older. Exactly. <laughs> the one thing I do want to try, this this thing, uh, iced tea, which oh, I haven't given a whirl at yet. Lipton's. Lipton, that's right. And the fancy coffees, which I haven't tried oh, yet. Right, you know yeah. that lot of the lattes, the lattes. espresso, oh, yes. mm. the mockers, yeah. hot chocolate. Yeah, I haven't tried those fancy ones yet. The ones you'd get from like a Starbucks. Mm. Oh, don't uh, go to Starbucks, man. I hear, I hear uh, you know, best places apparently are things like Cafe Nero and Costa. <laughs> apparently they're much better than um, Starbucks. Oh, well, I'll, try. I'll, I'll give that a whirl. Yeah, then. give it a shot. Yeah. See what see what you like best. Yeah. Yes. Mm. How many um, how many cups of tea do you, would you say you'd have a day usually? Oof, gosh. So at the moment, few. I only have, I only, yeah, yeah. I'm not like, yeah, most people do have like quite a few. Yeah. At the moment, I only have two. I'm just I, have to, one, yeah. one, I have one in the morning and one in the evening. Hmm. I'm trying to work out, hold on. So, yeah, usually I have one with breakfast, so in the morning. Um, yeah, as okay. a, a minimum. So, one at breakfast, I usually have one at lunch, uh, one at uh, evening dinner. That's uh, three. Usually, I'll also have one sometime after evening dinner, just you know, in yeah. the evening. So that's four. But typically, um, I'll also have one sort of mid afternoon. So that's five. Afternoon. Um, and possibly, sometimes, but five. not always, wow. I might have one sort of late morning. So potentially, as many as six a day. <laughs> six a day. I know. Wow. Six a day. Go through your tea bags like crazy. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. have two. I might up it because I'm. It's. Uh, I, I always used to be told whenever people who like tea, I don't know if you include them, but my parents as well, mm. they always used to have a, a sort of craving for it, and I never understood why. Now, when I uh, because I drink mm. tea and coffee, I get this craving for a, for a cup of tea. It's like really strange. Well, I think it's because technically, you know, caffeine and all that. It's, yeah. it's a drug. It is so, like any drug. Technically, I, you know, addicts a bit, but yeah. Mm. I might. I might have more than two a day because at the moment I just have one in the morning, one in the evening. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see. Yeah, I think my dad's like you. He's about six a day, and most people at work have about that much. Yeah. Uh, my auntie, uh, I had an auntie who, well, basically had a seemed to, seemed like to have uh, a cup of tea every like half an hour. Blood neck. <laughs> she must have gone through quite a few. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ma'am, um, yeah. that's uh, quite something. But you know, it's one of them drinks, which um... you should. What you should do, everyone, and you included, is drink more coffee. Apparently, coffee is classed as a superfood. Yeah. I so it's that, in the same um... category as like kale and beetroot. Mm. Yeah. So I've, I've heard. heard stuff like that before. Yeah. Mm, that might be worth looking into. Yeah. And for those of us, for those of people out there in the comments who were interested in losing weight or anything, green tea is said to uh, actually help you do that. Uh, and it's also if you drink it just before you go to bed, oh, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little fact I discovered. Yeah, is it like sort of um, just helps maybe kind of, I don't know how you describe it, like detox the body sort of? Yeah, and speeds up the metabolism. Yeah, there you go, yeah. So for those of you who, uh, who wanted to do that, have a bit of green tea before you go to bed. Oh, I might just do. <laughs> yes. Uh, what a very good. British conversation it's... this is. About yes, tea. we well, we do, we do. Brit Britishness is all about... Being British, isn't it? Mm. A very British yeah. conversation by two very British guys for a very British-themed game. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is. This is a <laughs> you couldn't get more blighty if you tried, Phil. Good well, old England. Mm. 
Oh, yes. it's, it's a fun place, fun place to uh, to be. Uh, not the biggest country in the world, even though we do have sixty million, mm, sixty-five yeah. million. <laughs> I think it is now. Indeed, yes. Um, Oof, man. I know. Uh, mm. Sixty-five million people. Can you believe that? I know. <laughs> well, crammed, crammed into our tiny little country. Indeed, it is actually. Uh, I just had a kind of weird thought when oh, you yeah. mentioned how um, obviously Britain is, geographically speaking, a very small country. It always just reminds me of um, a uh-huh. um, lecture that uh, we once used to give at Lancaster University on the politics course about oh, right. ma- about like maps and how sometimes they can be quite misleading, um, and how they can maps. sort of yeah, yeah, and how they can sometimes be used to sort of push certain political views or kind of political oh, ways of looking yeah. at the world. It's interesting because um, one of the kind of um, big sort of criticisms, particularly of the old sort of Mercator map, the one that most people use uh, when looking at that's you know, it. the world. Yeah, that's what it's called, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, one of the big sort of criticisms of that yeah. is that because technically that was designed for sailors to sort of plot out lines of navigation. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, because obviously what you're essentially doing is taking a three-dimensional object, i.e. the Earth, and trying to represent it on a 2D surface. It yeah. inevitably results in all the countries actually being kind of distorted and not quite their true size. Oh, right. So apparently, you know, uh, Britain, I think, looks bigger on a Mercator map than it actually is. Uh, Russia, I think, also apparently looks bigger than it actually is. And Af- well, Russia's still a big place. Russia's still huge, yeah. But uh, apparently the one that is really distorted, Africa, the whole continent, is um, way, yeah. way bigger than it appears on and a Mercator appears. map. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny because um, there's actually a clip from, I don't know if you've ever watched uh, The West Wing, um, uh, sort of 1990s, early 2000s um, TV show uh, from America about basically politics in the White House. Um, I have not, no. But there's a clip from that, which is basically this exact sort of topic about how the Mercator map kind of distorts things. And um, one of the examples they use is that if you take the size of Greenland on standard Mercator map and put it in the middle of Africa, it looks like Greenland takes up quite a lot of space in Africa. But the reality is that Africa is actually 14 times bigger than Greenland, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Greenland's, Greenland's a funny place. They, they, apparently, if you, Greenland and Iceland. Mm-hmm. Iceland's, yep. Iceland is, is, is full of greenery and vegetation. Yeah. <laughs> and Greenland's full of ice. Yeah. So mm. whoever, whoever did the naming convention um, Either, went slightly a bit yeah. wrong. Either they uh, didn't know what they were doing or they decided on an elaborate prank. Uh, time, yes. yeah. Here's a little fact for you about Russia. Did you know the, su- the surface area of Russia is bigger than Pluto? Yeah, I've heard something like that before. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think yeah, P- Pluto is a pretty small planet, and uh, yeah. Well, it's not even a planet now anymore, is it? Technically not, is it? Though apparently they devoted there, it. Yeah, apparently though there have been campaigns to try and get it reinstated as a planet. Yes, I have heard. Yes. I think it got demoted in 2006. Was it? Uh, I can't remember actually. It feels so long ago. <laughs> Yeah, mm. 2006, something like that it yeah. was. Uh, and, uh, oh dear, I think I uh, drunk uh, my tea a bit too when it was scalding. The uh, the roof of my mouth feels a bit burnt. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had that uh, before. I think, I've, I think I've overdone it. Oh, yeah. There is a phobia, uh, did you know, there is a phobia of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah I think, I think I've, yeah, phobia. yeah. I don't know what the name of it is though. Um, no, it's like, there's no other... No other other foods, not like a bit of ham or a bit of jam gets stuck to it. So it's peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. It's an, it's an actual phobia. <laughs> really strange. Yeah. I'll be honest, peanut butter is one of those things that I have never really eaten. I think I've tried it before, but I wasn't really keen on it. I don't mind it, although I haven't tried it in a long time because yeah. there's obviously the smooth variety, there's the crunchy variety. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny. It's, I don't think it's necessarily that I disliked it. I just think I just didn't really take to it. Mm. Really take to it, yeah. yeah. It know, depends. We all yeah. have different. If we all had the same taste, we'd be a boring old fart. Wouldn't true. We? Yeah, that's very true. Mm. That is very true, yeah, Phil. Oh no, we're not doing the Deutsch challenge again. <laughs> the Deutsch challenge, Marshall Rott, or Feld Marshall Rott, as he was. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's, a character, that's a character who's never appeared in any other video, Phil. <laughs> any other video. Yeah. I've hopefully will get because um, I've told a, a colleague at work that I sometimes do collabs with you. Yeah. And he might take a look at your channel. Oh. 
So you might have another person there, another viewer. <laughs> yeah. Slash potential subscriber. Ooh, who knows? Yes, we'll have to see. Hmm. Um, well, there we go. We've been recording, I think, for about uh, 20 minutes there, Phil. So I reckon lovely. this is a good place to actually wrap this uh, little podcast video up. Hmm. Yes, we had a nice little chat. We're quite the chat, say. yeah. Covered quite a lot of, <laughs> got a lot of ground there, moving from topic yes, to topic. So I'll, it'll be interesting to see how you're going to title this video. <laughs> I know. I'll probably title it something to do with teas or something like that, because that was quite yeah, a big you, one. That was, the, that was the major topic. Yeah, yeah. major chat. <laughs> yes, uh, teas of all yes. varieties. Yes, well, teas. there you go. Thank you, then, Phil, for uh, joining me for this. It's been a pleasure. Yes, thank you, Pascal. We were supposed to be doing some multiplayer, but uh, we've got no servers found, so yeah. I don't know what's happened to the multiplayer. Well, I think, uh, the, I, to be honest, I think the multiplayer these days is just not that active Just anymore. not there. No. The official, a bit like the Wolfenstein yeah. ones. Yeah, the official servers, sadly, you know, they ended uh, a while back, and now mm. it's just the occasional private server, and usually quite often people set passwords on them just to limit it to themselves and close yeah. friends. But we didn't even get no. a password-protected one. No, just a, no servers at all, unfortunately, yeah. which is sad, but, yeah. Part of me, you know, wishes that maybe one day Big Robot would come back to this game and maybe add more content, but obviously that's, I doubt that's going to happen. Well, I wonder if they're working on a new project. So they've obviously finished, they've done the signal from Tolva, they've done the light keeps us safe. Uh, are they working on a new project or are they um, updating for those two games? I think, or? I think technically the light keeps us safe. I'm not sure. I, I think they're still currently working on that technically just right. doing updates okay. for it i don't know i can't remember if um, the light keeps us safe if it's still in technically in early access or if it's now officially uh -huh. at a stage where it's at its kind of proper release but I'd, I'd have to check yeah okay there we go <laughs> so yeah okay no if you're not doing so already uh, then everyone you can follow me on facebook and twitter links at uh, links links down below i just did that uh, in a previous recording that i was doing for blanks blanks you're just getting obsessed you're I know, getting i think you're getting homesick or something you want to come back to lancashire, lancashire. <laughs> yeah. who knows maybe <laughs> yes um if you're not also uh, interested i have a second channel propagandist where i do various anime related stuffs so if you're interested in that kind of thing feel free to check it out it's up to you. But yes, uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, do comment below, uh, share this video with your friends on social media, and if you're not doing this already, why not subscribe to my channel? So once again, thanks, Phil, and uh, we'll uh, sign off now. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, yes. I should be able to... Actually, I should... No. I need to move it elsewhere, don't I? This way. Come on, round here. Go. Oh. Hey, what are you doing over there? Seriously, come over here. Shove it right there. there. Come on. Give me the key. Give me the key. D damn it. Um. Give me the fucking key. Why can't I get the key? Come here. Ooh! Okay, I knew you were gonna fucking do something. Oh shit. 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 What are you doing? Uh, run!